Hey, what is up everybody? Welcome back to some more Doki Doki Literature Club. Uh, this is still the mod of uh, the virtual novel. And this is where we get to date like all four of the girls. Not at the same time though, but you know. Uh, we can just create different saves and then play as them. So right now we're playing as Yuri. And uh, so far, I like it. Um, my favorite one was, was actually Natsuki, even though Sayuri is of course um, the best one to to go as but you know Natsuki had the best one because yeah anyway so um thank you guys for watching last video if you guys enjoyed that one you know what to do on this one also don't forget to leave a like anyway so let's go it's the day after the festival I walk into the literature club and the usual scene greets me Yuri is sitting at her desk reading a book Natsuki and Sayuri are talking about something Monica is late again I walk over to Yuri. She's completely oblivious to my appearance. Hey, what's up? She jumps startled. Once she sees it's just me, she calms down. Oh, I, I didn't notice you there, Riley. Sorry, you startled me. You really do apologize too much. If I scared you, don't apologize. It isn't your fault. She begins to apologize but catches herself. So, I mean, uh, okay. She puts her head back down in her book. I realized something. Oh god, I'm distracting her. I'm interrupting your reading, aren't I? Oh, no, you're alright. I I don't mind putting some time aside to speak with you, Riley. Good. That's a relief. And we sure do have a lot to talk about, especially regarding the festival, huh? The festival. A day none of us want to remember. She stares into the distance. We absolutely- do we absolutely need to talk about that? I really don't want to either. But seeing as how our member count it remained at 5, I don't think Monica will ignore it. Uh, as if on cue, Monica walks into the room. Sorry everyone, I swear, one of these days I'll... I'll get a, have to get a watch or something. So does everyone notice something about the club? Something important? Nasuki walks up smug. Yeah, you're always late to it. I don't believe that's what she was referring to, Nasuki. It's something important about the club, Monica sighs. Other than that, have you noticed anything that hasn't changed? This time, it's Yuri's turn to be smug. Nesuki, apparently. Hey, that isn't what she meant either. Okay, everyone, calm down. What I meant is that when I say everyone, that still includes only five of us. Let's talk about the festival, shall we? See, of course, everyone, she wanted to talk about the festival either way. All three of the girls listening groan. Even if I don't voice it, I feel the same way. None of us really want to think about that. I know, I know, it's kind of a touchy subject, a lot, but we need to talk about it. You all were there, but does anyone want a refresher? The festival. It's a day that all of us would probably like to forget. Uh, see, everyone, everyone has their little greater than, less than, greater than and less than symbols, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, and the way look, and the looks on Sayori, Nasuki, and Yuri's faces reflect my idea. But if Monica's insistent to bring it up, I guess I have no choice but to remember. It's Monday and time for the school festival. I've got all the decorations me and Yuri set up. I'm waiting for Sayori to help me carry them. Festivals. I've always enjoyed them, as they were essentially a day off from school. But at the same time, I never got involved in anything like this. I can't believe I have to read out a poem. I'm still not even proud of the one I chose. I just hope everyone else will like it. Amaya jumps to Sayori. She still hasn't come out of her room yet. I was waiting outside for her, outside her door for her to do so. It's, but it seems she overslept again. I really can't go in though. I'm not going to be late because of her. I text her as many times as I can and, I, and after about five, she responds. She apologizes for sleeping in. Then she tells me she'd about it. She'd be out in half an hour. Great. I set down my bag against her fence and lean against it. I grab a nearby stone and throw it, trying to pass the time. I think I fell asleep again. She gets outside shortly after, and we walk together as usual. For once, her clothing isn't particularly off. She must have really put the effort here. We continue walking. Sayuri says something that stops me in my tracks. So, you and Yuri are dating now, huh? I stop. I. Wh what? How did you know that? Uh, duh, it's obvious, Riley. 
But don't worry, I'm not jealous. She's jealous. I'm happy for you too. It was clear from when you that okay, hold on, wait a minute, wait, what? It was clear from when you first met that you liked her. Uh am I really that obvious? Yep. Don't worry though. It worked out in the end, didn't it? I guess Sayuri really isn't wrong. She smiles at me and together we walk to the festival. Alright, so before I go on, I want to say that um, I might not do Monica's route because Yuri might be the last one that I play as because uh, Doki Doki really isn't that popular anymore. So I might go to Minecraft or, you know, to the more big league games. Not Fortnite or not Apex because overrated AAB. But uh, yeah, I think Minecraft is too, but at least uh, it's at least it's not cancerous and toxic. But anyway, yeah, we arrive at the festival and get to our setup. We're about 15 minutes late, but we don't miss much. Of course, the first thing Sayuri does is take a huge bite of one of Natsuki's cupcakes and I grab one as well. Instead of the traditional swirl, the icing is shaped sort of like a closed book fitting the theme. Wow, Natsuki, these are really good, thanks. I just hope everyone else will enjoy them. It's impressive how the icing's done. Something like this must have taken a lot of time, effort, or both. Well, duh, I got a lot of practice with this kind of thing. It's really not that hard once you get used to it. Yuri and Monica come over getting a taste and they seem to enjoy it. They too express their gratitude to Nasuki. I'm glad you guys enjoy them. Just make sure there's enough for everyone else, alright? Uh, speaking of anyone else, is there someone who signed up to join a club yet? Nope, not so far. But the festival hasn't really picked up yet. In due time, I guess. Oh, that's right. And we haven't and we haven't read the poetry yet. Speaking of which, have you got your poem with you, Riley? Yeah, it's right in my book. I cut myself off. I realized by how by now the apparent emptiness behind me that I didn't bring my book bag with me. God dang it, man! Great. I mean, I did. Well, that isn't very good. Anyone have a poem that they can rent Lake and Len Riley? It seems he. It seems to. He seems to have forgotten his. I can't read right now, okay? I'm a little bit weird. You know, the main event of the day and everything? Okay, yeah. Monica guilt trip me. I hate when people try to guilt trip me. It's not. It's like, I don't care about how you feel. Just let me forget something, bro. Hey, I didn't do it on purpose. Sayuri steps in, in my defense. Hey, don't be so mean to him. For the record, I forgot my poem too. So, it really isn't just him. Yeah. Oh god. Right click. Stop. Sayori, that's not something you should feel proud of. But, but I just I forgot. <laughs> well, you yeah, can't do that. Now two of us won't be able to won't be able to read anything. How will we attract newcomers now? Well, my reading wasn't going to attract anyone new anyway, so I really I don't count. Sayori, did you leave it just behind so you just so you didn't have to? What? No, why would I do that? I wouldn't lie. Are you lying to me right now, Sayori? I am ashamed of you, Vice President. At this point, a crowd has gathered at the door and interested. They slowly enter the room. Classroom. They did say classroom, I thought. Um, a couple of the smarter ones pick up the cupcakes and they're pointing and laughing at us. Nasuki steps in. Hey, leave Sayori alone. I didn't want to read these dumb poems either. In fact, none of us did. It was only you who wanted this dumb idea. I'm sorry, Nasuki. I thought you were confident enough to read, but I guess not. I really haven't seen the side of Monica before. I have twice. Almost did twice. <laughs> it seems rather angry to say the least. Monica isn't having any of that. I'm sorry, Monica. I thought you listened to your club members when they voiced a concern, but I guess not. You some damn president you are. Yeah, some damn president you are. <laughs> she said that's why <laughs> Natsuki, in case you weren't listening, there is no one asking for your opinion. You have no reason to give it. Well, here, I I'll ask now. Natsuki, what's your opinion? Thank you, Sayuri. This is why... Yeah, I'm glad you asked, Sayuri. In my opinion, Monica's being an awful president. Ah, oh, good to see that you're both wrong. Maybe that, maybe that could change someday, but I doubt it. G g guys? Quiet, Yuri! Yuri squeals softly and back to the egg. Chill out. 
She, however, notices the crowd and is even more scared. Okay, why you had to scare my girl Yuri like that? Now I'm gonna have to uppercut both of y'all. All three of y'all. I turn to the club mem other club members. Rup, here goes nothing. GUYS! You're making a mockering of your own club! Stop your bickering! At once, they all quiet down. Nasuki opens her mouth to defend herself, but she takes one look at me and closes it. At this point, the crowd mostly dissipates. It's noticeable that that still not one signature is on our sign-up sheet. Oh. Wow, so I guess that was a failure again. No matter who we choose, it's a fail. So does everyone understand why this club is still the way it is? All three of the girls question in question look down in disappointment. Monica does too. She was part of the problem after all. Even if, even if she doesn't care to admit it. She seems to be thinking a moment. And then she speaks up. I, I'm sorry I snapped at you two. Riley and Sayori, I really shouldn't have. In fact, I should have listened to you the first time around. Well, yeah? And I'm sorry for yelling at you, Yuri. I'm a bit taken back. Didn't expect that one out of Monica. But, uh, but I guess there's a first time for everything. I guess that means I should also man up and take responsibility. Here goes. I suppose I have to apologize too. Cause I did this after all. Nasuki steps forward. Well, you both need to stop being so hard on yourself. It's dumb. It's not either of you guys' fault, so stop feeling guilty about it. It's... I, I really... I'm the one. Well, what do you mean? I mean, you had your... I don't think she had a poem at all. I don't even care. Uh, through the rushing of her words and... The shakiness of her voice, it's clear Nasuki struggles to apologize. Sayuri comes up and wraps her, arm, wraps her arms around Nasuki. I forgive you, Nasuki. And you too, Monica. And Riley. That and what about Yuri, man? She just, she's just over here like, yep, I'm free. It's not that big a deal as long as we're still friends, right? Natsuki looks up. Yeah, the club might not have more members, but at least we have us. Y Yuri stops looking at the floor as she begins to speak up. I I like the club better this way. I mean, you know, I know you wanted more members, Sayori and Monica, but I. I don't really. It's great to just be us and we're all we're we're I can't read, okay? God damn it. We're we all like each other just the way we are and don't have any real drama. Besides, if there's five of us and we sometimes argue, imagine if there were more. That wouldn't be good at all, honestly. Sayuri thinks for a second, an action I rarely see out of her. Well, I don't want to add more members if our current original members don't like that idea. I guess we agree with you guys? Monica takes a look at everyone processing this. She seems to connect this idea. I guess it's settled then. No more members, huh? Okay, everyone. Are we sure the club is good as it is? Absolutely. I don't mind this. It's great with just you guys. I wouldn't change this for anything. All right, then the literature club stays how it is. Well, no poems this week. Hey, that's good. Take it as a show of good faith from me, I guess. Woo, thanks, Monica. Oh, well, all right. Oh, good, no need to worry about that. Yuri looks at me, I smile. She returns it and we all leave the club. Me and Yuri leave together. Riley, am I going to your house this Sunday? I'd love to have you. She blushes. I'm so ready for Sunday. <laughs> Great. Okay. I don't know how long I've been recording for. Oh. Okay. It's seventh hour and I'm and I'm ready for it to be over so Literature Club can begin already. Speaking of Literature Club, I'm worried about Yuri. It's been three days. Okay. It's been three days since the festival and two since the club st talked about it. But it seems to have still hit Yuri pretty hard. She's been even less confident than normal ever than normal ever since that day. I'll have to talk to her about it. I'll walk into the room. My literature club my literature class is fun, but it drags on when you're waiting for school to end. I'll walk to my desk only to be surprised by who's sitting in the back of the room. It's Yuri, reading a book I don't think I've seen it before. I'll walk up and tap her on the shoulder. She looks 
she looks up from her book at me. Eh? Riley? You're in this class? I thought you didn't have a taste for literature. This is a third year class. Well, I'm not that in... Well, I'm not that into literature. But I skipped first year. The way it sounded, that class would be worse than taking a higher level one. So I'm here. How have we not noticed each other before? She stops to think. Well, I likely did. Well, we likely did. It's just we didn't acknowledge each other. After all, we aren't we weren't familiar with each other at the time. That makes sense. Come to think of it, I do remember Yuri being here, at least it seems. It's one of those things where now you think you remember it even if you, even if in reality you don't. Except now I have no idea whether I whether or not I do. I'll take her word for it. Well is every well is anyone sitting next to you? Nope. She stays that she says that rather sadly. Then I will. Besides, it's what would a boyfriend do, right? Uh no. Yeah. I say the word boyfriend with a bit of a mocking tone, which always been kind of stupid to me. Uh how how we have to proclaim that we're dating every few minutes. However, her face goes red. Uh, yeah, yeah <laughs> I suppose. Here, s s s sit down. She seems nervous about something. I sit next to her and just in time for class to begin, the teacher begins to join on about this and that. Mainly talking about how today we're getting a day to work on a project that we're apparently supposed to be doing. For me, that means one thing. I get to continue my normal routine of sleeping through this class. I place my arms on my desk and rest my head in them. I was just about to nod off when Yuri questions me. Riley, you're falling asleep. Yeah, I was trying to. She looks shocked. I kind of forgotten that she's not Sayuri and wouldn't be used to this from me. She questions me. What? Don't you want to get a good grade on this project? I scoff. <laughs> unless, uh, unless it's going to change the C minus I have in here, I think I'm good. C minus? Riley, do you need help? I stop to consider this. On one, on the one hand, I might impress you if I take my studies seriously, and it might be fun to work together. On the other hand, it seems like an unbearable amount of work. I will accept her work, her help. Sure, why not? You can start by telling me what this project is. Her shock only increases. You don't know? Riley, how much of this class did you sleep through? Most of it, actually. School is tiring, right? The look of concern she gives is worrying to me. Um, well, all right. All right, well, perhaps I can still salvage the situation. How good are you at research? I don't have a clue. She looks even more worried. Well, all right, let's start with the topic of the paper then. What task were you assigned? I'll pull out my paper. Explain the over, explain the overarching themes of the current novel, it says. Hmm, mm hmm. Did you read the book, Riley? No, that might be a bit of an issue. Here, let me have a quick rundown. I don't care, okay? Just suck my meat. Thought. With that, she begins to suck my meat on with the most important parts, characters, and themes of the book. Hey, I'm I'm impressed. For a school for a school assigned book, she seems really into it. All of her nervousness and concern disappear as she closes her eyes and thinks about the novel. The way she's able to perfectly explain in every detail, and her confidence in every word she sees states, is truly different. By the time she's done, I can only stare. Did, did I do something wrong? Why are you staring at me like that? Oh, you didn't do anything wrong. I, I don't worry about that. I'm just look. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, don't worry about that. I just. You seem so confident about talking about the book. I'm impressed. Oh, th thank you. Books are a lot easier to talk about because I know them cover to cover, almost literally. Cool. Trying to talk about myself or other people, it's a different story. <laughs> Hey, I guess you need help reading people and I need help reading the books. Seems like a symbiotic relationship to me. Yeah, really. <laughs> well, I hopefully we can both help each other with with time. Yeah. Now now did that help you find some ideas on what's right? I nod and Yuri and look down to begin writing. But 
I still cannot help but consider what I had said. What if I helped Yuri gain confidence? She clearly needs it, and it wouldn't seem too hard. I'm pondering on this when, to my surprise, the class the bell rings. I don't think I've ever been awake for the final bell. I was just about to walk out when Yuri looks at me apprehensively. Uh, do you want to walk to the literature club together? Sure! What that? We make our way to the literature club, walking and talking together. And then we walk in. The usual scene greets us. So God should bleed it. And I don't think there's anything happening in here. Okay, so now this is Sunday. We're gonna end the video right here because I said so. Okay, let's see. This is where we end the video. All right, cool. All right, so anyway, we're going to end the video right here because yeah, it's been a fun thing, man. We, we got a lot of stuff written, that, not written now. We got a lot of stuff done. Yuri cares about my studies, which is kind of cool. Um, and nothing new happened really it was just a recap of when it was when with sayuri yuri i mean sayuri and nasuki and possibly monica if i ever did get a chance to go into that one but anyway yeah so i might play some free short indie horror games later on um you know upload those janks because i know some of you guys like to watch me scream a little bit but uh yeah with that being said if you guys enjoyed the video know what to do like share subscribe and comment my name is funky the and as always i'll see you in the next video. Peace out.